Hello, everyone. Today is the birthday of Mikhail Tal, or Mikhail Tal, as <clears throat> people in Russia would say. Tal is called by many people, uh, or he has a nickname, um, the magician, because, well, as you can guess, what he did in the, on the board looked like magic. And today we will celebrate his the occasion of his birthday by looking at one of his games. In this game, he had black pieces against Gerion Barza from Spain. Pretty good player. Let's take a look at this game. Barza starts with, with knight f3. Tal plays g6, nothing special. Gets the bishop on this diagonal. Um, g3. White does the same thing. Tal uh, fan carries his bishop. White does the same thing. At some point, the knight will move and the bishop will play chess. Tal plays d6 to bring out the other bishop and support moves like e5 or c5. White does the same thing. Tal takes control of the center. White does the same thing. In fact, white has been copying black for the past couple of moves. Tal develops his knight. White does the same thing. Tal develops the other knight, and now white can no longer copy. So Barza plays bishop, bishop uh, <clears throat> e3, which makes sense. Maybe white can play queen c2 later and try to go for this idea. Maybe he can support d4. Tal castles, and white plays queen c2, as expected. Tal plays knight d4. Um, <clears throat> so the point of knight d4, it's a pretty decent knight. If white takes with the bishop, so first of all, he cannot take with the knight, because we take back and it's a fork. So takes, takes, not good. <clears throat> if he takes with the bishop, um, the point structure changes. White does get white does get better control of the center, but we have more space on the queen side. We can challenge the center later with f5, and we do have the two bishops. So Barza played knight e2, which seems to make sense because now this knight is triple attack. But in this position, Tal has a tactic already, and I will pause and have you find it. Okay, I hope all of you, or many of you, were able to find a really cool move, bishop h3. And the point is really cool. If the bishop takes, then we take the knight with a fork. Hmm. So bishop takes, knight takes. Well, Otherwise, well, the bishop is attacked, and we simply threaten to take it. If my defends the bishop, we take it anyway, and then take the knight. So, <clears throat> white took the knight first, but of course, now we take the bishop, and we attack in two things. We attack in the rook, and we attack in the knight. If white moves the rook to, to attack our bishop, we take the knight, and we will be attacking another thing. Okay, my play rook g1 as expected, saving the rook. And now, of course, we don't save our bishop because then he saves his knight, but we take the knight, and if he takes our bishop, we take his bishop, and we add the piece. <coughs> so white took with the knight. Okay, we need to save our bishop. Uh, Tal decided to attack the knight first to give his bishop an additional escape square. The knight shifts to b5. Now Tal saves the knight, but it's not so easy, because white plays pawn g4, trapping our bishop, and if allowed, white can play rook, <coughs> rook g3, and the bishop is gone. So Tal needs to figure out how to save it. Let's see if you can figure this out. So the way to save it, is by targeting one of the spawns with our pawn. 
And this is what Tal does. He plays d5. We attacking this pawn. So if white were to play rook g3, we simply take, and this is defended. So white takes this pawn though. Tal develops his rook with tempo, attacks the bishop. The bishop drops back, keeping the pin over here. And at some point, white might even take, because if this bishop is not here, um, we cannot take with the queen because he takes our knight. And we cannot take with the knight because he takes a rook. Tal takes the pawn first. We need to rescue the bishop. <coughs> White takes back. And Tal moves the queen. A lot of people in this position would probably just trade queens. It's absolutely fine. Because when you're up, you want to trade. <clears throat> but then position gets a little bit more complicated. Because uh, our knight would be attacked. We can't move our knight because the rook falls. Um, we can, let's say, move our rook here because we get fork. And the position gets, although we can then pin afterwards. Um, this is playable, but this is not the kind of positions which Tal likes. Tal does not want to be boring and trade queens. Tal wants to attack queen b6 which complicates the position because we are attacking this knight. But of course, this knight is free and then the rook will be attacked. So, as expected, white takes the knight, Tal takes this knight, and white takes the rook. So what's happening? Well, <clears throat> Tal takes here, but white seems more than fine. So the Tal miscalculate. His bishop defends his rook. Tal takes back with the king, and all of a sudden, it looks like we're losing. Um, we're down an exchange and the pawn. But the problem for white is his king is in the middle. This bishop is really good. For the time being, the rook is attacked. And this pawn is double attack. So white saves the rook. White saves the rook and defends the pawn. And now we have a tactic. Um, really nice move. Let's see if you can find it. And Tal plays a brilliant rook d8. He improves his rook. And of course, white cannot take. <clears throat> because then we can take this. So takes, takes, and it's checkmate on the next move. He has to block. So, oh, what happened? Well, <clears throat> white moves the queen. He needs to save the queen. He needs to keep the pen of the rook. But here, uh, and also, by the way, he's attacking our bishop. What did Tal do? Tal takes the pawn. Another really good move. And the problem is he cannot take our queen because rook here is checkmate. Um, the other problem for him is we have a threat. If we play rook here, it's a checkmate into moves. <coughs> of course, uh, just to demonstrate, um, let's say he does that, check, and checkmate. Um, so that's a problem. Uh, the third problem is if he takes our bishop, we can take both rooks. We take this one and then this one. So takes, takes, can move, this holds. We can also throw this in first, which might lead to a checkmate. Let's go back. So after queen here, white moves the rook. Because he says, well, <coughs> this knight checkmate anymore. Um, and he's actually threatening to take now. But black to move and finish off this game. I'll pause and have you find it. And Tal found a fairly simple, for his standards, move rook d1. The point is check. Um, the queen, if the queen blocks, we actually checkmate. We could win the queen, but this is checkmate in one. Can't do anything. And if he takes, we take. After he blocks, again, we have this move. Checkmate in two moves. Boom, check.
checkmate. Mikhail Paul, the magician, happy birthday. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will be back soon. Thank you.